let me run through these design principles real quickly and give you a few examples of them. The first one is that as you're beginning to develop a degree, it needs to reflect robust and valid competencies. Now, at WGU, we do that and really measure the validity of the competencies that we develop, both at the input side and by looking at how employers regard the graduates of our institution. So, for instance, at WGU, we use program councils for each of the areas in which we have degree programs. And those councils are drawn from very skilled academics as well as industry experts. So for example, in our health professions council, we have some of the leading health educators in the country on that council. But in addition to that, we have some personnel directors from large hospital chains. And the notion is we're trying to find a balance between how the professions are changing and what does it mean for an academic program to really prepare a student who can go out into the workforce and fit into it in a reasonable way based on the degree that he or she has earned. But we can't do that by just talking to industry. We have to also include academic expertise and fit within the academic model. And by the way, one of the original mission directives that the governors of the Western states gave to the designers of the Western Governors University was that any degrees that are created need to be acceptable both to the academic community and to the business or industry community. So we try to do that in that way. 